So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! In today's video, we have the continuing saga of Polly Audis, A-U-D-I-S, and his wife or girlfriend. Now, Polly was released from jail, but his girlfriend or wife is still in, and he's trying to get money to get her out. He hasn't e begged yet. We'll see how that works out. Enjoy! I'm just uh, running around right now trying to drain my bank account from all the ATMs so that uh, we can all be free again. So interference with uh, commerce by threats of violence or extortion. Damn. That federal law carries with it. A term of imprisonment up to 20 years. Now as you watch this video, this moron does not seem too concerned about the charges or the possible jail time. He's still concerned about violation of his so-called rights. I'd say that's a felony. Thank you for asking to be out. <laughs> Getting some real food was the best thing in the world after that. So, uh, again, with uh, 18 U.S.C. 1951 interference with commerce by threats of violence or extortion means that when you go into a place of public accommodation and you want to engage in commerce and they are open to the public, they must accommodate you. That's, that's full and equal access rights. So if you have a right to full and equal access to public accommodations, then uh, they can't stop you from being there within your rights and from engaging in commerce with their business. <clears throat> they hold their business out to the public. You are part of the public. They can't refuse you service. That's a whole, that's a myth. Look, bird brain. A company or a business has the right to refuse service to anyone for any reason. But I understand you can't read, so here's a little sign to make it easier for you. That whole right to refuse service. When the cops engage in helping said business owner uh, interfere with commerce, that makes them criminally liable for the same conduct. So, just like if you want to go into a courthouse, you don't actually need business with the courthouse. You have a right to access that space as you please. It's it's our space. It's our public space. We pay for it. That's what our taxes pay for. Criminal trespass statutes uh, do not apply to post offices. So, if they don't apply to post offices, uh, I'm pretty sure they don't apply to any federal land. Because how are they going to trespass you from... Uh, federal lands where you may or may not need to go to conduct business. The live stream was breaking up at this point, but he's talking about how laws cannot be enacted to trespass you from federal lands, including the post office. What an idiot. Private property, but when you are open for business to the public, you are a public accommodation, and the public has full and equal access to your public accommodation. That's part of uh, your obligation of good faith to the Civil Rights Act of 1964 as owning a business. Now you can uh, you can own a private business uh, like a private club, and there are provisions under the uh, 659A non-discrimination laws that allow you to actually uh, refuse service to people. 
because you're a private club and you have exclusive membership. Costco doesn't fall in there because their membership is open and available to everybody. So it, it applies for things like uh, like poker clubs or billiards clubs, things that are exclusive uh, to members and not available to everyone in the public. They usually have like an application process. This moron has absolutely no idea what he's talking about. Yes, you can have private clubs, but they still must be open to members, not based on race, creed, color, sex, disability, age, and other statuses. Please, oh, I'm getting such a headache from listening to this man. Can you stuff a sock in his mouth? If you're asking if I have a license and license plates, yes, because I can choose to engage in commerce if I would so, if I so please. But I'm not being paid to be on the road right now, so I'm not engaged in commerce. Jurisdiction has applicability, so if you're if you're traveling in your common law jurisdiction, you are exempt from the traffic laws. Traffic is the movement of goods or uh, services. It's the mo movement of money. Traffic is specifically a commerce term. So is driving and operating. They are definitive terms under the uh, Motor Vehicle Act. So this moron seems to be a hybrid between a frauditor and a sovereign citizen. Of course, I've always thought that the two were one and the same, but this idiot really proves it. Talking about he has the right to do this and that. Now, I'll tell you what you have the right to do. You have the right to follow our laws, our policies, our rules, and if you don't like it, you can move out of this country. How about that, sweetheart? I believe that so those the Sobsit guys, they they have the right idea in mind for wanting their freedom, but they're going about everything the wrong way. They're trying to remove themselves from the legitimate system, but the legitimate system is taken over by illegitimate people. And so we just need to take our legitimate system back from the illegitimate people, and we will have justice again. But if we all just sit there and try to separate ourselves from the corporation and everything that is set up and recognized and functioning. See, the, the USA Corporation and all the subsidiary corporations, the states and counties and cities, if you look at all of the documents on the construction of all of their, a private business is a private club or a bona fide church. They are different than public accommodations, which are businesses that open up their doors to the public Look, you dim-witted fool. It doesn't matter if it's private or public. You can be trespassed. You can be arrested. You can be asked to leave. It doesn't matter. Why is it so difficult for you to understand that? Oh, I forgot. Your mother dropped you on your head as a child. Oh, my condolences to you. For everyone, which is what gives you free and equal access protections under the Civil Rights Act of 1964. I kind of, I went over this a little bit already a couple minutes ago, but uh, there are legal differences between uh, public accommodations and private businesses. Because this rambling was almost two hours long, I have skipped ahead in quite a few places because he tends to repeat himself often throughout this video, so I've edited out about 35 minutes and skipped ahead. Now let's see what the idiot has to say. Well, Trot, when she broke the law first by interfering with our rights to access commerce, she became the criminal first, and all of our actions afterwards thereby became justified. She didn't have the right to refuse us, that she didn't have the right to extort our rights of conscientious objection to the mask, which is covered in the FDA's emergency youth authorization under uh, section six says a condition of informed consent you must offer the option to refuse the device because well I, I, guess I can't get too into what actually happened so well, let's think about this for a minute this bozo really believes that he and his girl were in the right 
And I don't know if that's his girlfriend or wife and it doesn't make a difference. But they clearly were the aggressors. They were asked to leave and then they assaulted the store owner. And now they think that they've been wronged. Uh, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of stuff on court procedures, rules of evidence. I have the entire code of judicial conduct and organ rules of professional conduct. Uh, pretty much every document that outlines their uh, required conduct, I have. But anyways, I'm going to be driving around this town for a little bit looking for all these ATMs, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off since I can't really pay attention to you guys at the same time. Good talking to you. Thank you all. Uh, hopefully Amy will be out later tonight, and we'll figure out more. Love you guys. Thank you. Well, there you have it, folks. Another idiot who has not learned a thing from being arrested still thinks he's in the right. Unbelievable, isn't it? If you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons make a complete fool out of themselves, please subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.